Hey guys, welcome to our mega pick. We bought a lot of junk. In fact, there's actually two things we aren't even showing you tonight because we could not fit them in the house. So, and the garage is full, so we gotta work that out. Yeah, there's a French provincial hutch. It was $65. <laughs> We're gonna turn it into a display, so you will definitely see that on a subsequent video because as we are getting the shop ready, we will be taking you along for that journey. And then just a basic $10 dresser, like five drawers, pine, very simple. You just have to imagine those because they're outside, they didn't fit. Um, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit notifications and subscribe. If you love junk hauls, DIYs, house renovations, yeah. furniture flips, anything farmhouse and design, that's what our channel is all about. And we go live every Saturday night, 8.30 uh, Mountain Time, even on our 18th wedding anniversary. Yep, married 18 years today. Got married in San Diego. And yes, we were just babies when we got married, 18 and 19. So people get like, I can't believe you were married for 18 years. You don't look old enough. I'm like, I was old enough. Barely. <laughs> so we're excited to be here. Our anniversary happens to fall on National Thrift Store Day, which I feel like is the universe telling us that we've have pro chosen our correct career path. Because I don't even think yeah. National Thrift Store Day existed when we got married. No, I don't remember it being around. I mean, if it was, it was very obscure, not very well known. Yeah, there weren't national days for things 18 years ago. We've actually been together almost 20 years because we dated about two years before we got married. So we've been together a long time. I like to tell people we finished raising each other. <laughs> or she finished raising me, one of, the, one of those. <laughs> I wasn't raised yet either. I, I think I've chilled out a lot. I used to be way more intense, if you can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna give me a good chuckle. Because <laughs> it's true. All right, so we are going to do our thrift store haul like we normally do. We did some fun thrifting all day today, and I did a little bit before today, but most of this was all purchased today. We've been driving all over, um, eating tacos, and enjoying time together for our anniversary. And then we're going to be showing you a preview of our new stencil line. So if you haven't heard, go to jamierayvintage.com. We have JRV stencils. We just released, I think, something like 20 or 30 stencils. I actually haven't even counted them. We have a fall line. We have a bohemian line. We have farmhouse. We have, I don't know, so many different There's fun things that came plants out. plants like succulents. Yeah, we did succulents, and we even did macrame with succulents for all my bohemian friends. Um, so we're super excited about that. We're going to share a few. So I'm excited about those horns. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a good life. Let's get started and get to, get to showing the junk. All right. So, thrift store hauls, here we go. Oh, awesome. These are little horns. This one is actually a candle holder. And this one we got because we have some other horns. We're going to hang on to these till Christmas. You know, we were like, ah, should we get them? It's kind of early still. We don't have a lot of room. And they're like, wait a second. We've got a whole shop to fill up. So this one was a dollar, and this one was a dollar. And they're just fun little brass horns. Even if they don't use this as a candlestick, it'll still be cool on display with all your Christmas stuff. So I kind of want to do a fun Christmas display in the store with brass horn. So I think this makes like four that we have. Yeah. So I'd like to get like at least three more so I have seven and I want to do like a hanging display. I don't know what. So they may not even be for sale. They might just be like display in the shop because now that I have a shop, I got to create like seasonal displays and stuff. Joanna Gaines does it. So Were you to apparently I have to too. <laughs> Were you to sell them, how much would you sell them for? Um, so I probably would sell them as is. I'd probably put them on like a wreath or something, and then I would probably sell the wreath for like 30-ish dollars. So, yeah. This is the heaviest duty bunt pan I think we've ever had. It's almost like cast iron. It is super, super heavy duty, and it has branding on it. I'm going to come around. It even I even says bunt pan on it. Now, this is interesting. Now, we're going to tell you we went to a lot of different places. Today, we went to the Goodwill Clearance Center. And all total at the clearance center, we spent $22. So I can't tell you what the individual price was because they weigh it by the pound and then you pay a total price. So this was included in that. So every time we tell you that it was included in the Goodwill bundle, that just means that all total, everything was $22. So I think we got about 22 items. So I'm guessing about a dollar item is what it yeah. really boils down to. We got a bunch. So... But we leave these as is, we wash them up real good. Some people use them for actual bump pans, some people display them. We think they look really cool on the shop wall just hanging all together. Yeah, I like to have a big display. display of them. Aw, thanks Janet. Super chub, happy anniversary to us. Oh, thank um, you. And also I use them for planting succulents. Oh, and yeah. I just sold a succulent display 
to my friend Heidi's daughter. She sent a picture that her daughter is a plant mama and she's super excited. And I was like, well, she'll probably take better care of them because they're still alive, but I have hardly done anything to them. Succulents are super easy They've to They've just care. been living on their own. <laughs> like once a month I water them and they survive. All right, this was also from Goodwill, right? Yes, that is also part of the $22. So, so no price on it, but usually baskets like this, we sell for around eight to $10. No, that was probably more like $12.95 if we paint it. Oh, if we paint it, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And the cool thing is, is that this is like the perfect size for a centerpiece on a coffee table. That's what I think. So when I'm staging it, I like to put it with a few things in it, maybe stack some books in it and show them how they could like use it on a coffee table because that size basket is always perfect for that. I'm gonna show you guys these chairs. Jamie got these the other day, solo picking, but we've got two of them and they're actually really sturdy. I love it when she brings home sturdy chairs because then we can just paint them and clean them and be done. I did the booty test. You sat on it? Mm-hmm. I sat on it and I just wiggled my booty and the chair didn't move. That's the booty test. That's the booty test. So then you can know that it's good. <laughs> they were $5 each and the caning is in excellent condition and I'll probably sell them for about $30 each painted. On some more super chat. Thanks, Debs. She said happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. Woo woo. All right, yeah, that one is always good to find. And when the caning is in good condition, you can't pass it up. It looks way cute painted. So those chairs are on the small side. They'll look good painted. How much would we sell them each at the shop? Are those a $35 chair? Yes. Oh, I missed that. I was stacking it over here carefully. Thirty dollars. Thirty. Well, twenty nine ninety five. But I was counting. close. I was close. What did you say? Thirty five. Oh, I didn't hear you either. We're not <laughs> listening to each other. <laughs> That's all right. You know, we make it work. All right, another little brass candlestick. This was a dollar. And, and I just bunch them all together in the shop. Yeah, we clean them up, but not so much that we take the tarnish off of them. We like them if they have them. The more age, the better. Mm -hmm. We love the patina. And some people will come to my shop because I have really good prices on my brass and they'll clean them up to use, but I just leave them as is. That would sell for about $6.95 as is. And I like to bunch all my brass candlesticks together because every now and then somebody comes in and they want like a whole table full and they'll just buy everything I have. This was a uh, random pick that Jamie was like, what is that? It has nothing to do I with- I didn't say it quite like that. I was like, I raised so, my eyebrow. So this was at the Goodwill, so it was probably a dollar. And it's for storing wrenches. And I don't currently have one of these, and all my wrenches live in the bottom of my toolbox unorganized. So, you know, you slide them down in the slots, and then by size, and then you can roll them up in this neat little package. And take them with you. And tie them up, and then bam. Now they're not a big old mess in the bottom of your toolbox. So I was like, ooh, look at that, and grabbed it up. Did you mention that was from Goodwill? Yep. Yep, that was for that part of the $22. We are Next, not listening tonight. <laughs> I know. Oh, thanks, Crescent Moon, Moon Cottage. She said, happy, it's actually Donna's her name, but her name on here is Crescent Moon Cottage, which is also her business name. That says, happy anniversary tacos, Donna. More super chat. Thank oh. you. We appreciate it. All right, so you might be going like, Jamie, that's a little wild for you. Sometimes when I'm at the thrift store or the Goodwill clearance bin, which is where this came from, it's part of the 20, it's not a sarong. That's what I was thinking it would be good as. <laughs> this is part of the $22. This is for Debbie because she loves all things bohemian and colorful. I think that it would be awesome to like reupholster chair seats with. I'm bringing it So close. I'm going to mail it to her or I might hold it on because we're having our grand opening for Jamie Ray Vintage, the shop on October 26th and Debbie is coming to the grand opening. So I thought I might just wash it and have it ready for her, a little uh, welcome present for her. I thought it was really pretty. This was probably a dollar, Goodwill. They didn't, nobody likes that look on you. Just kidding. <laughs> just Julie Shanklin. She said, sorry, is that not a good look? You know, I come from the land of uh, kilts. That's where my ancestors are from. We're Scottish. Yeah. So. Any, and English. Well, both. that's not kilt material. I actually have no idea no. where that came from. But no. for as part of my $22 pick at Goodwill, I was like, Debbie has to have that. That is the wrong color for the family tartan. <laughs> it is so Debbie. Yep. It does look like her. So These I'm excited. Are... I love it when I can find stuff. All right, I'll stop. 75 cents a piece. Made in China. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Not old, but they are cool. They've got chickens on them. These roosters. Roosters. Right? Isa says I look good with a ponytail. Thank you. I got an anniversary massage today and my, you know, they use coconut oil 
and I'm a little greasy. So I had to throw my hair in a ponytail because <laughs> it was like <laughs> stuck to my face. Uh, this one's leaking. See. Looks like someone used this to keep their coffee. Oh, that's funny. Well, anyways, those mugs, I've been trying to buy stuff that would be cutesy for the store, but rather than buy them mass produced, because I could buy them wholesale, I think it's better to buy it thrifted because then you're like using used items and it's better for the environment. And 75 cents, you couldn't buy those for 75 cents. No. Not even wholesale. So, do you tell them how much we sell them for resale? No. I probably sell them for like $4.95 each. They have a few small chips in them, but I think they're cutesy and I'm not painting them because the color's great. All right, next. And good luck finding those anywhere else. I've yeah, never I don't seen even know where like they're that. from. They're, like they're probably from Walmart originally. I don't know. They look like they're they're not they're bigger than oh, a pint. Paula Zuniga, more super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, this is so this is just like a mason jar. It's probably not old. It looks like something you can get in Costco in like those set of four that they do. Yeah, but this one's been painted. But it's got a really cool color on it. Did it paint it in the inside? They did a good job if they did. No, no I think it came that way. This is the color of the glass. Yeah, I it's think not it came painted. that way. How much was that originally? Um, originally, well, you paid three dollars for it. Let me see if I can get no, that price tag off. No, it doesn't have the original price tag. It's probably from Walmart. Yeah, they did store coffee in it. Yeah, you can smell it. Smells it. like old coffee grounds. Not, not pleasing, but that's all right. It's um, all over the the <laughs> drop cloth now too. <laughs> Great. Anyways, um, that'll sell for about twelve ninety five. Just wash that up. A lot of these things, I just throw them in the dishwasher when we're done going live, and then they're ready to go to the shop. So this is a book that I picked up. They had just hundreds, maybe thousands of books in the bins at the Goodwill. And I really liked the, the I don't know, what do you call that at the edge where they dye the edge? It's probably just the edge of the pages. I don't know if it has a special name. Sometimes it's like gold on there, but this is red. This is an old hymnal, inspiring hymns, and really liked it. And I actually like the font on the hymns too. So cool book. Part of our Goodwill haul, and we got a whole got a whole section of Molly has always kept the shop full of books, and she's leaving. So now I gotta like get more books. Somebody commented down here. I missed it, but um, they got a hundred books for free. I was like, dang, score. Yeah. So these are I think these were about a dollar a book if you work it out. I sell them for five dollars a book in the shop, but they're part of the twenty-two dollar um, Goodwill haul. So. I thought they were, these are all encyclopedias, so they're kind of fun. I like encyclopedias because the older ones say interesting things in them. Yeah, they always have really cool pictures, too. I used to love, as a kid, looking through the old encyclopedias and reading the captions by them. But look at the inside. It's also got this cool bird in here. Yeah, I really like that. It looked very federal. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a good one. Cindy says, I love old hymnals. I use them in the house for decoration, but I also take my favorite hymns and I frame them. So that is awesome. You could take one hymn book and frame a bunch of them or decoupage them, and you can make a ton of product for your shop or to decorate your house with like one book. So are you going to show them how to tie a tie? I'm going to show them how I tie a tie. All it's, right. It's pretty, this tie it's is... the cheap and dirty way to tie a tie because you, <laughs> after you tie a tie a few thousand times, you're like, yeah, I'm done. So, oh, their library sells old books cheaper than the thrift store. I will have to check that out. That's a good tip. Thank you, not too shabby patty. So my son loves vintage ties, and I found this tie. It's part of the Goodwill haul. I know you guys are going to get tired of hearing that, but it was part of the $22. And, Look at that. Um, no mirror. You're so, you're so handsome. I think you need to wear it the rest of the time. Just leave that on there. Uh, it's hot. I have to take the it off. Original, <laughs> the original price was... $3.99 at Goodwill, but apparently didn't sell, so it went to the clearance center, which is where they had these giant bins, and that's what we were digging through. I felt like I needed a flea dip afterwards. But I think what we're gonna do is a video of us going to the bins maybe later on. Today we didn't film at all. If you check my stories on Instagram, you can see some behind the scenes pictures, but we didn't film because it was our anniversary, so we kind of took the day we off. We were like, yeah, we're gonna go picking for fun, and we found a lot of cool stuff, so we thought we'd show you. Yeah, all right. Also Goodwill. <laughs> This is a fun little bowl. I almost, I think it's hand carved. It's not uniform and the bottom is not round. So this was probably carved by hand and then sanded. So this is a good question. Sharon says, how do you make sure to keep a cohesive style when there's so much good stuff to thrift? So I thrift things that I feel like will, I would decorate within my house. And then if it doesn't fit my style, I paint it and I make it my style. A little stencil, a little stamp, a little IOD, some paint, and I can pretty much make anything fit what I love. Yeah. Basically, I'm looking for like shape and what is it made of, and then I can transform it or if it just matches what um, 
what I um, decorate within my house. So that's kind of me. I just, whatever I think will style well with my personal style, and then people know what to expect. When they come to my shop, they know what they're gonna find, so. So did you get this butter dish for us to keep? Because <laughs> yes. ours mysteriously went missing about three weeks ago. I'm guessing a kid broke it and threw it away. They, nobody fessed up to it. In case you guys don't know, we have five kids. <laughs> ages 17 to 5, somebody broke the butter dish and I've just been shoving it on a bowl and putting it in the cupboard and I like to have a lid. This so. was $1.50 and these are a dime a dozen at thrift stores so if you need a butter dish and or even want like a special kind if you keep your eye out they've got some really cool old ones. Yeah I uh, I like that one because it's white so it's $1.50 and I would probably sell it for about $10 in my shop $9.95 if I was going to sell it myself. Oh, Art Girl says she lives near Lehigh, so we hope to see you in the shop. So those of you that haven't heard, Molly's is, they're closing down and moving to a smaller space, just them, open only a few days a week. We're taking over the lease, so if you've already been to our shop, it's going to stay open. We will be closed that first week in September so we can get all set up, but then we'll reopen as Jamie Ray Vintage, and we'll have all kinds of fun stuff in there. Have I ever been to a Goodwill warehouse? So that's, I guess that's where we were yeah, at today. I don't know, we were at the Goodwill Clearance Center where they have the bins and where you just buy it by the pound. This is also part of the Goodwill stuff. It this just is gonna keeps, be for me. Keep going. This is gonna be for me so that when we're in France, I can like... Hold all my stuff. Because I guess they uh, said there's a lot of pickpocketing. The gal that's in charge of like our tour is like, hey, bring stuff that uh, you don't care about. It's a man bag. I'm going to use it to carry cameras and stuff like that because we're going to be filming all over the place and showing you guys our whole trip while we're there. So you'll get to see, you'll get to come to France with us. So don't worry about that. But, and we may go live, but you know, I'm just going to keep it so I can keep it, you know, backpacks are easy to swipe stuff out of. So, well, and this is like weathered and aged. It is from Eddie Bauer. It's not super old, but the style is totally Zeb and it's part of our $22. I don't even know, like brand new, that probably would cost, I think, 50 or 60 bucks for a leather satchel. Oh, no, leather satchels are over 100 for nice ones. This has good zippers on it, too. It says, Peggy Ann says, when you wear it, have the flag next to your body. I don't know what that means. This, you flip it around. Oh, smart. Okay, good tip. Yeah, we don't, we live, Lehigh is this little sleepy town, even though there's like 75,000 people here. So it's different to go to another country. We have pretty low crime rates here. Um, we so, have low enough crime rate. You can read it in the local little paper, and it's like 12 things every two weeks. So they call it the Merce. Everybody says the bag is legit. They love the man bag. So I feel like it's great because I didn't have to spend a lot of money on it. Happy anniversary. Thank you. I also bought myself a Oh, box. she meant flap, not flag. Well, we figured out what she meant, so I guess it well, worked and out. It also has this cool little handle Thanks. that comes up through the flap. So. Yeah, and it came complete with a pen. Did you show? Oh, yeah, it has a pen inside. There's there's stuff still in it. I'll probably, once we're done, yeah, I'll, keep, I'll keep all my art supplies in here because it fits. Because, you know, I never got, I, I used those those briefcases I got for my art supplies, ended up going to the girls. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I'm excited about this. And it's got a padded bottom, too, so it will be I'm nice the, for the camera. I'm the one that found it, and he's like, I'm like, I think you would like this. He's like, oh, yeah, I'd love it. So. Happy anniversary. I also, I don't know, did you show him what I bought you on the other video or not yet? All right, we'll show him. I bought him some fun stuff for his anniversary. It's, it's old crap. <laughs> like, oh, no, I, I don't have you. those here. They're, oh, they're, they're not here. I've been using them at the house. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll tell you what they are. Maybe you'll see them in another video. They've All already right. seen them in videos. <laughs> All right, we got to show you this. This was not from a thrift store. We went to a salvage yard today. So we went to Georgia Salvage in Salt Lake. You can Google it. He has, if you saw my stories, he's got like junk for days. He's got now, so many piles you can literally you like hardly walk find by it. it. All. <laughs> but he knows what's there. So if you go say, hey, George, I need this. He'll be like, oh, let me find it. But the thing is, George's is not cheap. This light was $60, which is full-on retail, like if you went to a shop that was organized. Complete with dust. Complete with dirt. dust. But the thing about George's is that he has tonnage. So if you need something, you can go there and find it. This is going to go in our half bath. Um, it's already, like, wired and everything. Zeb said it's good to go. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a hot and a neutral already, so it's up to, this, like, code for current wiring, so... Oh, Emma said she visited the shop today. Did you visit the Lehigh shop? They had a market there today. We never made it because we were anniversary junking, but I heard it was pretty awesome. All right. Is my lights flickering? 
No, what happens is when I bring something white up close, the camera changes. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the camera auto adjusts. So the cool thing is this light, even a reproduction, if it was this well made, would probably be about a hundred dollars. And it's even got stamped on at 814. So that's kind of fun. It's got a black ring around the lip and it'll, we're going to hang it above our East Lake mirror and um, vanity in the half bath. Yep. And we'll probably put a couple can lights with it because that room is eight feet long. So I think that's a lot to ask of this one light but it should do good. Yeah, we're gonna put more lighting, but this one's gonna be for looks. So I cleaned it up a little bit. You can see it's got some chips in the enamel and things like that, so it's perfect. This is exactly how we want it. And I love the holes in the top, so it'll let light out the top too. Well, that's for venting. Also, it'll let light out the top. You All wouldn't right. need it for venting. This whole thing is vented. Mm, it's hot. Okay. Well, not with LEDs, but... All right, so um, let's see. We had a question. All right. Hold on. And we bought something else from there that we're going to show you here in a little bit. Um, I missed the, the name on it. Oh, Royanna said she wants to see us use the grain sack stripe. If we can make it through, you're going to get to see us use it tonight. I got this from my girl, um, Tina. Tina, is that who I got that? Tina? Yeah. Yeah, I got it from my friend Tina with the Hoosier. We forgot to show it to you. She gave it to me for free. So um, it's got I this think it's an old sewing table. Yeah, it's an old sewing table where you could put like a, for your knitting, you could put fabric in here and it makes like a basket. Anyways, so it's cute. And it's had some, it's got lots of staples, so. We're gonna um, grain sack it. Yes, Caitlin, the stencils did come today and we are going to be using them when we're done, if we have time. We got some office supplies. <laughs> this is very exciting. I thrifted office supplies because I'm cheap. And we're going to need a bunch of it for the shop. I stinking love clipboards, and these were 75 cents each. I don't even know how much they sell them for at the regular store. These are really cool for, like, you can hang signs or lists or whatever and change them out and display them. They yeah. look cool. I'm all about clipboards, so I got four of them because I only have a half a dozen, so I need more. $3 stool offering. This is uh, vinyl. It's not leather. But we will put some fun fabric and probably stencil the top of it on this. And it's really, really sturdy. For $3, it'll probably sell for about $30 with a new top. It'll be way cute. Yeah. All right, show them the rest of the office supplies. Oh, sorry. I got distracted it's by the stool. very exciting. I am obsessed with these message books. Maybe I'm old school, but I used to use them when I had an office job. But I love them. So I got one of these. It was a dollar. I got this to hang on the wall for important papers at the shop. And a giant calculator because sometimes you got to figure stuff out and your computer's not close. Or also, a stapler and three-hole punch, not pictured, but everything was <laughs> under a couple of dollars each. Most of it was a dollar a piece. There, there you go. So, I love that because you know what? Well, this three-hole punch is like $20 yeah. by the staples. And who wants to spend money on office supplies? If you can buy it thrifted, you're buying something that somebody was getting rid of, so it's eco-friendly and cheap. So, I love that. All right. Julie says nothing wrong with being cheap. It's funny because I am cheap, but then I spend money other places, which is kind of funny. She, she saves money so that she can spend money on stuff that she's like, like that lamp. <laughs> Did I get the plant water measure for the succulents? Kate, yes, I did. Are you the one that mailed it to me? Because I have it in my green cabinet. I'm sorry, I think I, you said that once before and I must have missed it. I think it came on a week that we were crazy, crazy busy, but I remember when it came in to the shop. We had one come in, but I got it unboxed before it even got to me. So thank you for that, if that was you. Oh, Diane Victorian Shabby Shop says frugal. So not cheap, frugal. frugal. I like that. I'm a frugalista. All right, more brass here. This was a dollar, or was this from Goodwill and in the bins? Oh, Kate dropped it off by the store. That's why it wasn't in a box. Uh -huh. Thank you, Kate, I appreciate that. That's probably why my succulents are still alive. All right, so this was, what was this? Oh, that was part of the Goodwill pick too, the $22 for by the pound. So I don't even know, maybe a buck for that. That'll sell for about like $6.95 in the shop. Yeah, it's got a really cool design. It's been stamped out. It's hard to yeah, see with the lighting. It's fun. It'll go with my brass stuff. All right, th this is also from, from the uh, Goodwill haul, our $22 haul. Those sell really well. Um, I probably won't paint this one because I actually like the patina on it. The original brand is what? Is it on there? It's on here. It's vintage. Um, Kitchen King. It's made in Japan. Kitchen King made in Japan. I think these are really cute and I love to put them in the shop for sale, but also to hang things like aprons and whatnot. So. Yeah, and they're, and if you find these and they're not in good shape, the pegs on them are worth keeping. Yeah, because you could put them on a sign. 
Oh, um, Angelina said I got one of those coat racks and made it into a coffee cup holder. That's also cute. All right, Very I'm good. going over to the side here. <clears throat> we'll show you the big things in just a minute. Yeah, I know. We have, I feel like I'm going to lose my voice before we get through all the haul. What time is it? We're almost 30 minutes in and we've only been showing junk. We haven't even stenciled yet. Oh, they're loving it. It's good stuff. We got some okay. good stuff on this. Five bucks. I'm not painting it. I'm just going to clean it and put it in the shop because it's black, lightly distressed, super sturdy. And we've been doing lots of darker colors, grays, blacks, browns. Yep. Right, and I'll sell that for probably $30, like $29.95. It's solid wood and way. It might need a little extra dis distressing and a reseal. It's got some weird scrapes. I think if we wash it and use a magic eraser, it'd probably be all right. Let's see. $5 clock. Yep, I bought two clocks. This, this was this cut out on a CNC. I don't currently have any clocks programmed for the CNC, but I like this style, so I may yeah. design one similar and we'll put it up on the website. Maybe a little can smaller. Can you type so that? Because I didn't know. I bought that when you weren't with me, so I couldn't ask you. I always like to have you with me so I can be like, can you fix that? Yeah, I'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Um, this When this is fixed, though, this clock will sell. I mean, I paid $5 for it and it'll sell for probably like $30 or $40. There, it's tight. Clocks do really well. Um, and if the clock mechanism doesn't work, we'll save the handles and buy a new one. You can replace those. Yeah, the clock mechanisms are about eight dollars down at most thrift or most most hobby stores yeah. or craft stores. If I paint it and make it look cool, I could even ask upwards of fifty dollars for it because it's big. If I sell it as is, probably about thirty bucks. All right, I'm gonna hold this up. This one was eight dollars. Tell them your plans for this. All right, so this one, the back, we're gonna. It already has this metal. See right here, this is metal. I'm going to take the bat completely out of it and then I'm going to paint it and put a big IOD transfer on it and then I'm going to paint the outside part and I'm not going to worry about that it doesn't have the seconds because it'll have the hours and I think that's going to be way cool when it's done and when it's done this one's bigger and I'm going to do more to it it'll probably sell for between 50 and 60 dollars in the shop once I've painted and put the transfer on I was thinking I don't know maybe paint the outside like apothecary and the inside paint it black and use that IOD bar and sucked in transfer, which is white. White and black. I, I yeah. think it'll pop really well and then the time will be on here. So I think it'd be cool. Well, and this is plastic on the outside. It's not wood. <clears throat> so we will, the, the DIY paint will stick to this. So we'll just paint it with DIY paint. Yeah, it'll be awesome. So for $8, can't pass that up. Like I said, you know, how do you make things cohesive and look good in your space? That style is a little bit modern for me, but I know that with some paint and some IOD, I can make it look the way that I want it to, or even like a big stencil on the back. All right, I'm so. going to go fly and tell them, talk loud so they can hear you. Tell them about this little dresser and okay. how much you bought it for. So this dresser was $40. It's in excellent condition, has great knobs on it, and may or may not get painted. Because it's in such good shape, I might put it in the shop the way it is and paint it when I have time, or maybe somebody can buy it who loves natural wood. This is one. This has all its knobs, and it's one of those, it's like a unicorn dresser that's this old. All of the drawers slide so, so well. Oh, and then I say that, and then that one falls off its track. Well, you have to have two. It doesn't have tracks. Like I'm trying to do it with one hand. That one is making me a lot earlier today maybe it had an issue in the truck hauling it home it'll be good it'll <laughs> all right and tell them about this tall one while we're off flying um so this tall one was 25 dollars. the other one's vintage not antique this is an actual antique acme furniture company acme furniture company i'd say it's early 1900s maybe like 1920-ish based off of the construction you should show them the back it's from chattanooga i paid 25 dollars for that but it is a little bit falling apart yeah you can see the drawers and the shelves in the back yeah i'll show you the back side here yeah it's, it's, so, it's, it all needs put back on. together but when it's redone, even if I don't paint it, I'll sell it for like three hundred dollars. Painted probably more like four hundred. So these little things here with the wing nuts on them hold the shelves up. Oh, that's cool! I didn't know that. So you can you can adjust them pretty easily by drilling a new little hole if you want, but we'll probably leave them alone. Yeah, I just love the farmhouse style of this cabinet, and I'm just trying to find more cabinets to put in the shop to take up vertical space and to put lots of smalls and things on. And Zeb and I have been working on some ideas for shelving so we don't have to have quite so many things on the furniture that we're selling. So hopefully we come up with some fun ideas that might help you guys that sell in booths or stores like we do, or even just display for your house. So we are going to, oh, we didn't show them the door. 
Oh, the door. This is going to be our back door out the kitchen. So oh. someone in the video was asking me about the weird window. They're like, oh, that window doesn't match the window that's going to be over the kitchen sink. Oh, it's yeah. bugging it's me. Not staying. And it's like a tiny little bathroom window because that was the bathroom. And what we're going to do is cut that window out. It's exactly the right size to fit a 32 inch door, which, which is going bought. to be this one. And we're going to let some more light into the kitchen. And it's got wavy glass in the window. This was from George's and he charged us a hundred bucks for this bad boy. Which for me is a lot for an old door. However, here's the thing about this door. It has original wavy glass, which is always a uh, like, soft spot in my heart. It's solid wood. It's an excellent condition. Initially, we thought Zeb might have to make a door. And this case, we won't have to make the door. We will paint it black so it matches all of our other interior doors. And we'll put a new handle on it and a deadbolt. But it's in super good condition and cheaper than buying a modern door, which would cost us quite a few hundred oh, dollars, um, especially uh, one with glass. Those a new exterior door that looks good with glass can run you a thousand dollars easy. Yeah, and so I'm not about to spend a thousand dollars on an exterior door. So I found this one and I'm just over the moon excited because it's gonna look great in my kitchen. I love the panels on it and it'll kind of carry over with our theme of using antique doors. Well, and we, we, we're, we're pickers, so we're like, oh, hundred dollars. But you know, George knows his stuff. He knows when he's got good wavy glass and the door is sturdy and good condition. And it's, it's worth that. Yeah, I, I love that. And I have a bunch of old doors that I'm using and that are from my like personal collection. I would not pay a hundred dollars for that to resell because that basically is full retail value. But if I was selling that in my shop, I would sell it for a hundred dollars. So, yeah. all right, let's, uh, yeah. So Angelina says, are you going to do white walls with black doors? That is the plan, at least in the old house, but I think I might do that in the new house. So Catherine Miles says, would you consider doing craft classes in the shop? Maybe we do so much video and DIYs that there's really not a lot of time for classes so we might we'll see me i might have some of the people that work for me do classes once i help them learn yeah to so i have a question it. ryanna asked um can you add slide tracks to an antique dresser i got one that was built in 1906 but the drawers don't move well so we have two videos that are all about fixing drawers and adding tracks to drawers on old dressers and things like that and doing them with pretty basic tools so if you look up jamie ray vintage drawer it should bring both of those videos up in the in the feed on YouTube and you'll be able to find those on how to fix them real easy. If you can't, email us at customercare at jamierayvintage.com and I'll link you the right video. All right, let's get to paint here. Christy Roche, Plant Bar AZ will have my stencils um, in the next week. All of the new orders are going out. And you know what's exciting? We're working on the retailer map, but we have just opened up JRV stencils to retailers. So you will be able to find the stencils that we carry at local retailers across the country and out of the country. So you'll be able to find our stencils in a lot of different places. And we will be sharing the retailer map soon, as soon as we get it up. Um, we have a Canadian retailer. Caitlin could probably tell you how many retailers we have so far. We just opened it up. Um, and if you are a reseller and you're interested in selling our stencils, go to jrbwholesale.com. All the information is there. If you're not interested in reselling, you just want some for use, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com, which is where you can pick these up. All right, so I'm showing you the grain sack stencil because this is our number one seller thus far. People love it. Yep, it's been new for like two days and we uh, just sell it on like crazy. Everybody that buys stencil throw, stencils throws one of these on there. All right, so it's got three different pieces here and it's gonna be hard to see because they're clear and see-through obviously but I'm gonna put them on this yellow nightstand here. I'm gonna wipe it down real quick. It's pretty clean, but I'm gonna give it a good swipe. And then we'll show you stenciling it. Jamie's got... You stencil that and I will get these boards ready for stenciling. Okay. And my good heat gun is over at the old house, so I've got my, oop, I've got my backup heat gun. Dropping stuff. Well, I'm like in a pile of stuff that I've just been setting on the floor as we show people. So these are just leftover boards that we have in our garage. That's how. That's why I love stencils because you buy them once and they're a one-time investment, and then you can use them over and over again. We mark. We make our stencils extra thick so that way they're you can use them for multiple uses. And then I just take leftover wood from projects and I make signs. 
our store will have lots of random signs all over the place and they're a great money maker that you can basically use junk and turn it into something cool and i love like my go-to is black paint with a white stencil all right i'm gonna lose these drawers before we're done i'll just take the drawers out sweetie well because i can't really show them on top of this I might, I might stencil out. it and then show you guys. Or put it in front and tip the camera down. Okay, we'll do it like this. I'm just this. paint. We'll do it like this. Do you want? Okay, so since you're gonna we, have a hard time stenciling like that. Just put it down in front and tip the camera down. Okay, so question for you: what? Do you want the stripe running this way or that way. this way? Wait, that that didn't show me anything. This way, horizontal. Yeah, horizontal. horizontal. Okay. Um, I don't have Halloween stencils, but the Thanksgiving stencils are already on the website. Site, and we have a ton of them. They're Thanksgiving slash fall. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been talking too much. I don't know if you guys know this fun little secret about Jamie. The second most decorated holiday ever, Halloween, is behind Christmas. Jamie doesn't decorate for it. I don't. De I decorate for fall though, and Thanksgiving. I decorate a lot for fall. Fall right. is the one that I have my decorations up the longest because I put them in September, and then I don't take them down for a while. Oh, Samantha Van Abema, I can't say that last name. She's one of our retailers and she says, I'm so excited to get my stencils and get them in my shop. I can't wait to create some fun stuff with them. I'm excited. And the fun thing about my new fall line that I just released is I normally just do farmhouse, but knowing that I was going to have retailers, I really tried to design stencils that were a little bit out of my well house. And so that's why we have some bohemian. We have some fun all over stencils that just went off camera. And Sorry, we've really got to What? What are you doing? Is there a kid screaming? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Just look at the yellow uh, things. That will... What? What happens up? Sorry, I took the camera down and then I went rogue to find a uh, tape a measuring tape. Oh, my heavens. Seriously? <laughs> I usually eyeball, but this is such a straight stencil, I didn't want to. You didn't want to mess it up? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where did you go? I'm talking to people, but they can't see me. I mean, I'm still going to eyeball it, but I'm going to eyeball it with uh, the tape measure. All right. Okay, so I'm going to push that to the edge right there. Okay. Then I got my uh, cheap. Green-eyed lady says, Bohemian, that's me. If you love Bohemian, you will love our macrame. And you'll also love, I have an all-over stencil that's like a botanical, which I feel like really lends itself to bohemian um, style. And I have some more stencils coming up in the works. And I'm going to do some coastal stencils with my next release. So I had to kind of curtail it. I think we came up with like 30 stencils. She's like, time. she was just going. What color do you want on this, sweetie? Um, like a blue, like a light blue. Oh, skeleton key. Skeleton key, right do you have it out? Right here, yep. Okay. So because this is already painted this really cute shade of yellow, we're just going to add a green sack stripe to it. Then we'll distress it and put some cute little IOD knobs on it. We love to use the IOD knob topper stamp for knobs. All right. So I'm just going to get a little of the DIY skeleton key, not going heavy on my brush. I'm going to wipe most of that off because that's going to help you not Are get you a muddy, the... messy... Uh, are you using the little C? So he's using the yeah. little C. And if you guys haven't heard, we actually have our own line of stencil brushes coming out through Paint Pixie. So definitely stay tuned with that. Lots of fun stuff going on. All right, All right. so my, my stencil overhangs just a little bit so that I can continue this all the way over. If you couldn't, like if it was something super wide, you would let it dry and then repeat the stencil. Well, I'm gonna have to move it twice. Yeah. So they'll get to see us do that. You gotta move it twice, why? because uh, it doesn't quite reach across this. Oh, it doesn't? No. Oh, did we show them this little table? This wicker table? Uh, I may have missed the wicker table. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come flying. I bought this wicker seat for $5. Oh, wow, that's super close up. There you go. And I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just cleaning it and selling it for probably $19.95. So if you guys are just joining in, we did a huge thrift store haul earlier. So make sure you're watching the replay and go catch the rest of that. Do you need more tape, sweetie? No, it's going fine. So it also comes, did you show them, it has one solid stripe if you want to do that. 
I'm just, and then I'm just we have to... a triple stripe, which I actually think if you were going to use um, this on fabric, it would look really cute on tea towels. So this is the triple stripe. When you buy the grain sack set, you get all three in the package. Kind of, they kind of want to wiggle. Yeah, it's kind of long, so as you're coming across, make sure you're holding it down, because that is a long span for a straight line. I may have rushed it a little. I got too much paint on this yeah. time around. Having a dry brush is really your best friend when you're stenciling, especially in this case. You don't, you don't need to hold it. Oh, okay. It's not moving. I got to take All right. Angelina says that she lives in Texas, and they don't really get fall there. But here's the thing about not getting fall. Even if you don't get fall, you can still decorate for it. So you can, you can make fall happen. Turn your air conditioning up high in your house, decorate from fall, get some hot chocolate. <laughs> it's kind of like me in January, I get tired of winter. So I get my flip flops out in my bathing suit and I make strawberry pie and I turn the heater on and I pretend that it's warm outside. If you are from out of the United States and you'd like to carry JRV stencils, Check it out because we are open up um, in quite a few countries. So, which fall colors am I using this year? Um, navy, mustard. Oh, look how cute that is. You see where I got a little juicy no, but on that, it? It's okay. Look at the. Whoa, you can't lift the this. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, this, uh, this particular grain sack pattern is replicated after my coffee table. Like, I literally took a picture of the runner that's been on my coffee table forever and sent it to my stencil manufacturer, and I'm like, and I'm going to need this one in there. And if you don't want to have the two stripes, you could just do the one stripe and then tape off the second one, because many grain sacks just have the single skinny stripe. Well, did you show side. them the other one? Yeah, I showed them the, well, yeah, but sometimes they just have one fat and one skinny and one skinny, not two skinnies. So you can kind of make your own look there. You got it? Yeah. I'm gonna hold this down over here. We have a thousand people watching us, Seb. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I just want to, while he's doing this, I just want to say thank you. We have so much fun, exciting stuff going on, and nothing would happen without our YouTube followers, all of our local people here in Lehigh, all the people in the shop at jamierayvintage.com. You guys help support us, and that's why we have so many things going on because we keep reinvesting in fun stuff. All right. Boom, baby. How long did that take? Like, not very, it would take us longer to tape it off than it took us to the grain sack stripe that. So on camera, you may have seen it bouncing a little because it's so thin. It wasn't really like wiggling well, side to side where thin. I was stenciling. It was just bouncing the stencil. Yeah, it was just bouncing up. So you do need to be a little bit careful with it. All right, so guys, picture this with some white knobs on the front. And um, they even have like a grain sack stripe knob topper stamp. So I probably put that on it. I'll put four cutesy little knobs, little wet distress or a little distress situation, and this is ready to go for to the shop. So thanks, Tina, for giving this to me because I think it turned out good. All right. We're All right. Gonna, uh, do we have anything dry, dry yet? Um, almost. Here. I'll we get the wrap. I'll get the heat gun out. Okay, and... so I'm just gonna grab the heat gun, and then we're gonna show you three more stencils tonight. And then don't worry, this next week we'll have a video showing how to use all of our stencils because I want to show you off all the fun new designs because there is a ton. If you can't wait for the video, go to jamierayvintage.com and check them out. Wasn't there a new color coming out for DIY paint? Um, I will be announcing soon. I don't know if I can announce the date, so I won't. But we do have new paint colors and products coming out with DIY paint. And we will be doing a DIY paint color marathon the day it comes out, showing you each and every single color right along with all of the other stockists and Debbie's Design Diary and Dion from the Turquoise Iris. It's going to be a fun event and it's coming soon. So I'm going to give this to you so I can move the camera to where it needs to be. Here, run this. What? What am I running? This. Oh, yes. I was reading you. comments. <laughs> yeah, the color that he just used is Skeleton Key by DIY Paint, which is something we also carry on our website. It's a gray, but it has a blue hue. It dries light, but then when you seal it, it gets a little bit darker. Oh, Lisa said she got her JRV apron. Oh, sweet, yeah. We've sold a few of these JRV stencil co aprons, so that's exciting. We just put up on the website a couple new t-shirt designs. One says Lehi. What's the other one I just did? Um, Farmhouse 1917. Oh, yeah, I forgot about 
about that. We haven't even gotten the proofs on those yet, yeah. but they look great, so they're up on the website. So we just um, came up with, we're going to be naming our new house, Farmhouse 1917, and I created a line of logo wear for it, so definitely check that out too. Lots of good stuff. New stencils, new logo wear on the website, new paint colors coming, so... All right, I think that's dry enough okay. we can do work on it. Oh, how to clean stencils. So I just take my stencils, I put them in the bottom of my sink where it's flat, and I take a non-harsh scrub brush and water, and I just scrub it and clean it off. The DIY paint we use this. Um, is water-soluble. Every now and then I'll get some window cleaner on it and scrub it with that, but they clean really, really well. Make sure it's on a flat surface, and the only thing you want to be careful of, if there's like little parts of the designs that might flip up, careful not to you know, get those up. If for some reason your stencil gets a little like off kilter or whatever, because maybe you didn't store it flat, wrap it in a towel and put it on a very low heat setting. Be careful because it can melt and you, they're thick enough that you can actually iron them and straighten them out. So we'll do some videos on stencil care too, especially now that we have our own stencil line. It's probably about time. What are you wanting on this board? There's black. Look at my knee. All over your knee. Must have been on your to, hand. I just want to see your knee. So dirty. What do we want to stencil first? Hold on. Why are you standing on the stool? <laughs> you never know what you're going to see on one of our live videos. So it's, do you want to gonna... do the damask and then we'll do a word over it? Yeah, that would be cool. What color should I do it in in the damask? So this is one of our all over stencils. Um, do it white and then we'll do a colored word. Do you want me to Or no, do a skeleton it? key, yeah. Or just do it in the center. Um, let's repeat it. So start it, I don't know. If you, however you got to do to repeat it. Do it skeleton key, and then we'll do a white word. Do you think that okay. would look better? I already have a skeleton key brush. Ready to go. Yeah. Okay, so the all over stencils are made to go on the backs of your signs. You can use them to make a raised stencil design with lightweight putty, like on a drawer. We have a video on that. Um, they could also be done on a tile. And this one is a botanical print that I feel like is a little bit bohemian. They also have these fun little um, X is up in here in the top corner and that's so you can line them up if you just place that right over the top of where you were doing you can even use like a little pencil mark or something in there and then that'll make sure that you get it nice and square every time yeah I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use probably our damask we have one as a damask pattern um, but we're gonna be using them to stencil the floor at our new pantry but I think these are cool we have I think four different styles that I came up with this um, time and I'm excited. I saw some really fun wallpaper, which was my initial inspiration for these stencils. So I'm excited. I think I'm going to do it so that I can just kind of carry it through. So do it that way and then just repeat it over there. I think yeah, that's and good. I might repeat it up top. And too. they're made to like line up. Okay, what was I doing? Hold on. Um, you were going to do something on here. I was, but no, I can't remember. Oh. All right. We're going to do. Oh, we'll do a fall one. So this one says, and all things give thanks. And it, these are big, so you can make nice big signs. And if you don't want it to be for fall, because this has fall leaves on it, if you just did the in all things give thanks and then the top part, you can make a sign that would be good for not just this season. All right. Can you line this up for me? Because I'm not very good at that. Yep. You're the liner upper. And then I'm going to go white with that one. Do we have white out? Just don't contaminate my skeleton key. It says, put a small piece of masking tape or painter's tape under the registration marks and mark the tape, not the piece itself. There so you go. Tape on there. Smart. Can you use DIY paint on floors? Yes, you can. Make sure you seal it with a good water-based floor sealer. Somebody also asked if you can use oil wax over the top of um, Big Top, and you absolutely can. Make sure your Big Top is cured, and then you can put the oil wax over the top. You would not want to put big top over the wax, but you can put wax over the big top. So hopefully that makes sense there. And we got more super chat from Linda. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Stenciling has been around since the 70s. I think stenciling has probably been around since longer than that. It's been popular for a long time. Yeah. What size boards are you using and how much will they sell for? How big is this board? I don't so know. that is about 12 by... Measure it, it's right there. Oh, <laughs> I just cut it to fit the stencil. I don't, I just, I, I didn't like, actually measure it. <laughs> the big sign sell for about $22. 18 by uh, 11 and a half. And you could definitely go bigger with this stencil and have more of a ring around the edge. But yeah, about $22 for this big size, sometimes upwards of 30. 
and we do frame them out. So if we frame them out, then we charge a little bit more and we just use the scrap wood. Oops, I messed it up then. Oh, oh. Is it centered now? No. Shoot. You might not, you might need to get new tape. It's okay. Is that where it's supposed to go? Yeah, if you just hold it, it'll be okay too. I'm gonna try to hurry so that we can get this repeating pattern. We're, we're coming up on our time here. Do you guys use oil-based paints? We don't, but we are gonna be using oil-based primer, primer on our house. We're, we're painting the ceiling white and it's got some water stains from past leaks in the roof. And it's also got a bunch of like rusty nails and things poking through it. So we're gonna zip all those nails off with a grinder and then paint it white. So I'm not happy about having to zip nails off with a grinder, but it's, happy done. I'm not unhappy, it's just gonna take like a whole day to do it. <laughs> you wanted to just paint over them. I was like, I'm pretty sure we're not. You're probably that. right. They won't look good up there and you will see them. They'll create I'm little what? shadows in the lighting. I'm probably what? You're not saying it again, are you? You only get to hear it once. <laughs> so if you missed it, it's gone. <laughs> We have a bunch of other comments. I'll look at those in a minute. I'm not really good at watching comments and focusing on my work. So if you guys are just tuning in, he's using the little C brush and skeleton key that you can pick up on our website. I'm using the new JRB stencil brushes, which I think will be cool when we start like two-toning stencils because you can get really detailed with them. They come in different sizes. Um, we should have these up probably in the next few weeks on the website. We just need to get some promo shots done. Oh, at Elizabeth Anderson, she said she heard it. She heard it. So it did happen. It happened. It happened. Oh, the retailer map is up. So go to jrbwholesale.com. I didn't know Caitlin had gotten that up already. Caitlin is on top of it. Yeah. People ask how I do it all because I have awesome people that I work with. Caitlin's definitely one of them. We love her. She's amazing. What are we using these boards for? These are going to be signs that we sell at our shop. So sometimes I use stencils on furniture. Um, and sometimes I just use them for signs. Now Zeb's just doing a background of a sign and we're gonna do a word over the top, I think. And the thing that's nice about, especially these all over ones, it would be so cute to use. You could even use IOD stamps over the top if you wanted to. You can really mix and match them, which is fun. I think it would be really cool with like the painterly roses. Oh yeah. Where you kind of like build your own yeah, you flower that arrangement. Layer. That might be a little busy. But if you did a different color. I don't think it would be too bad. Um, Paula Hayes, Caitlin, if you're on here, can you find the link for the In All Things Give Thanks stencil? It should be on there. If it's not, we're going to have to get it on there. We've been so crazy busy, we might have overlooked it, but I don't think so. I don't know. Caitlin's usually on top of it. So I like to go up and down with my, I've heard that some people brush their stencils on, but I like to go up and down so that way it doesn't get under the edge. This black paint was not completely dry, so I'm going to have to second coat this one. Done. This is a lot to stencil here. Yeah, they're big stencils. This is the big spot. We chose the biggest ones we, we made. We really should have probably chose the smaller ones, but that's okay. You guys can see in real time what it takes to do a Alright, so that one's done. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can watch me move it. Hopefully you did a good job. I, I did. There's people that are way better at stenciling than us. I always think, I always tell people, I'm like, it's proof that you don't have to be perfect at something to have your own line of it. Cause I'm not the best stenciler in the world, but I do all right. How long do you hang the bunk pens? How do you hang them? Oh, I just put a nail in the wall and then I put the bent pen on and it hangs on the nail in the center. You can't put a nail on the edge because they're kind of curved and they slide off, but you can put them and put it right in the center. They got a little lip. They got a little lip and you can hang them through the center. And I just hang them on a nail. I'm gonna use, who was it that said to put the tape under there? I'm using your hack right now. Right underneath the register The mark. stencil Jeb is using would be great as a ghost background. Yes. All right, okay. I think Odelia's hungry because she looked at me and said, Tears. Odelia, there's muffins on the table. No, my eyes. Oh, you need some Benadryl? She went and babysat somewhere for someone the other night and they had a dog and she is having some crazy allergic reaction to it. Yeah, I'm so sad I love and she loves dogs and she's like, I don't even know what's going on right now. All but right. that particular dog got her. Go take some Benadryl. Really, your base coat should be dry. This is not my best effort here. That's all right. I'm just going to, I'm going to roll with it. 
the wor worst case scenario, you just repaint it. When I was, uh, if you guys watched our live on Wednesday, I was stenciling some junk and I did a, a few letters were crooked. So when I was off camera, I just straightened them up. Done, no problem. And I made some really cute stuff. Okay, oops, missed right there. Oops, that was a little juicy. Hopefully that doesn't run. Oopsie. That's why we distress our yeah, stenciling. distressing. And so when you do black with the white over the top and you distress it with the DIY paint, it powders and it kind of gets all over the place. And I love it because it looks like a chalkboard. If you don't want it to get all over, seal your base, then stencil, and then make sure you blow, don't wipe after you distress because you don't want to smear that pigment, the pigment from the paint. Oh, I missed my register mark by just a little, but you could take like a little brush. Artist to fix brush. That. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna take mine off. Ta -da! Oh, that turned out cool. Well, this is the in all things give things one. I think it's because my thing is small here, and I didn't. My uh, my board is smaller, and I didn't quite get it taped straight. So this one's fun. All right, I'm gonna do the Bohemian one because I really want to show people the. Oh, I'm gonna do the wildflowers, I think. Should I do? All right, you guys, do you wanna see? I'll let them choose. So I did wildflowers. These have been really popular on the website, sold a ton of them. But then I also did, can you guys see? These are bohemian macrame. Would you rather see the macrame succulents or the wildflowers? Comment below and let me know. Oh, Debbie's on. Hey, Debbie. When do I get my stencils? I applied to be a retailer. They are shipping next week. I want to, I have to try every stencil out, make sure it's perfect on Monday, and then my manufacturer will release all the shipments. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see. Wildflowers, 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 wildflowers. Okay, well, I apparently wildflowers. I'll show you macrame later, but if you are boom, if you are a bohemian macrame lover, check this out. Can you guys see how cool this is? And the cool thing is, we have this one, it has five different macrames on it, but we also have these giant macrame ones. So this is like macrame with a succulent down on the bottom. And if you're kind of bohemian, I feel like that would be fun. So, okay, we're gonna go wildflower. I'm trying to hurry and not be too loud with my stenciling. I know. I actually, this is one of my favorites. I hand drew this one, which some of my hand drawings aren't so good, but this is probably my best hand drawing. Seb always laughs when I submit my designs to my manufacturer. He's like, how does she even know what you want? <laughs> Can you pass me that tape there? Yep. So this is a little big. I think I'll have Zeb chop this off so there's not so much space, but we can do that after the fact. This stencil I'm just gonna do in white because we're live. But I feel like this stencil is a beautiful stencil that if you did like multicolored would be way fun. Okay. Um, let's see. You're taking up too much room. Sorry, I'm taking up too much real estate. Are you showing them the all over? Yeah, I'm you guys I've looking got, at this? How cool is I've this? I've got one more to do here. How cool would this be to do to a whole back of a hutch? Like instead of buying wallpaper, which can be expensive, you could stencil the whole back of the hutch. Or even do just like one section between shelves or something. Yeah, that's way fun. Okay, so we're gonna do these in white because we don't have all day, but they would be really fun multicolored, which is where these, the new stencil brushes, that's where they come in handy because they have all different sizes. All right, I'm going at it. What word are you gonna put on there? I'm not sure, what color should I do? this it was much bigger but it turned out freaking amazing and I love it I love it I love it oh thanks Sandra she had a happy anniversary thank how you. many stencils do we have all together I actually haven't counted them but we have a ton we'll probably have a few hundred in the next year do you guys see how easy that was to repeat on this little board she said that would be pretty for a backsplash too we have one that's roses one that's damask and then one that I called Celtic so yeah it would be fun on a kitchen backsplash I so, think, and it has, 
let's see, it has one, two, three, it has four different designs yeah, on it. So it, as you repeat it, it's going to continue those in four different places all along it. So it doesn't, it's, it's got a lot of stuff going on on it and it's awesome. Well, you could also use just one flower out of there. Like if you just wanted to make like a cute set, you could just, instead of doing all the design on the outside, just do just the flower and you can make four little cute little signs like in a little gallery wall. Yeah. That would be fun. All right, I'm gonna find a word real quick. I'm gonna bring the camera up so they can see your pretty face. Oh, all right, they said they love it. What's the name of this one? This is botanical, I believe, and it's um, one of our tile stencils. So it's in a square and it's for a repeatable pattern. We have four of them and I'll probably create some more all over stencils as if, if people like them. We haven't sold as many, but I think people just weren't quite sure what to do with them. But as we show you guys, I think they're like, oh, they say gold letters. We don't have any good gold paint. We have liquid patina, but I don't know that that would show up as well. So this is a fun one we have that Jamie hasn't talked about. We have this one with a saguaro cactus in a planter and it says stay sharp. We have lots of stuff. It's hard to see. Let me see. I came out with them because I love my nephew at Plant Bar AZ and he loves succulents. So I thought it would be fun to come up with a whole line of succulent stencils. And I tried to find some online and I couldn't. There you go. You can so, kind of see that. I always try to create things that maybe you can't get somewhere else. All right, let's, are your stencil brushes going to be sold as a set or individual? They'll be sold individual because I know not everybody can afford every single one. They're a little on the higher end because of the quality and how well made they are, so they'll be sold individually. I can't decide what I want to put on that as far as like words go. Um, so I think we only have gather, but what about um, the, find the fresh flower market one? Oh, that would be cool. So we have an older stencil from a release a few releases ago that says fresh flower market. And I think because of the subject matter, that would be really good. That's my favorite one to use, like small pieces of it. Yeah, that one has a lot of fun on it. We always love to just take small parts of stencils and create new looks because the more uses you can get out of a stencil, the more you're getting your money's worth. So the locally grown, this um, one? That's not the one. No, nope, the one that says fresh flower market. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig for a second. If you can't find it, that one would be fine, but I think that one isn't as good as the fresh flower market. All right, I'm gonna show you guys wildflowers. Let me just make sure I got the whole piece. This has a lot of detail on it. I'm never worried about complete coverage because like I said, we always come back through and distress it. Oh, happy anniversary, thank you. Um, let's see. Oh, Tracy says she's loving Debbie's lives. If you guys don't know, Debbie has been going live every Friday with her flea market finds and showing how they flip them. And she said she was inspired by us, which I love because I'm totally inspired by Debbie. I have had so many great ideas from her. Oh, Debbie, if you just tuned in, you don't, you didn't see what I bought for you. Hold on, friend. I'm going to show you. Everybody else already knows. You have to tell me what you think. So Deb and I went to Goodwill and we bought by the pound today. And this was part of our by the pound haul. But I got you this. You like it? I thought it would be fun for like a couple of chairs or something. Anyways, I'll give it to you when you get up here or I'll ship it to you if you need it for a project right away. If you guys didn't hear, Debbie's gonna be up here October 26th for our grand opening. All right, Deb, are you- I'm not finding it. You're not finding it. It might be at the house. We left a couple stencils at the house the other day. I, it's, I, it's not there. Is there? I'm still looking, I have a couple more to look at. All right, Deb's gonna look and if you can't We're find it- We're a lot of stencils. I know, I use my stencils a lot and I don't organize them the way they should. Just use the locally grown one, it'll be good. I could do the laundry one. <laughs> oh, she says she loves it. You're welcome, I'm glad. I found it. <gasps> you found it. Woo! This right. is the very last stencil I looked at at the bottom of the pile. All right, so here is the wildflower. Isn't that cute? For people that can't draw like me, stencils are a lifesaver. So I think this is really pretty and I can't wait to see what you guys do with your wildflowers. This is probably our second best seller next to the green sack stripe. Okay. I, what color? I need to do like white. a, you think white will show up white. on the top of that skeleton key? Oh yeah. Okay. Where's, 
Do we have, what do you want? I want that stencil brush. This so one? this one has a lot of detail in it. Well, sure. this one is already white. You want this one? Oh yeah. Then we don't have to wash another one. Yeah. We spend our Saturday nights washing, well actually Sunday mornings, because we're lazy. We put them in water and we clean them Sunday mornings. Or Ziploc bags. Oh, thank you. Catherine says, happy anniversary. And she gave us a super chat. Thanks. Thanks. We love spending our anniversary. Jamie, how many stencils do I have? Somebody just asked me that. I don't know. I think my new my new line is like 20 or 30. I would say it's safe to say that we're about 65, 70 stencils. Because we've been designing them since January. And we've had like three releases now. It's, it's been good. I wish I could show them. I wish I had one more thing painted that I could show them that. I just eyeballed this. I didn't measure. Not sad about it. Oh yeah. You know what? I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to stencil the back side just so they can see it. Just on the okay. raw wood? Yeah, on the raw wood. Where's that the macrame one? Mm, you were showing everybody all the stuff. I lost it already. It's possible. It's possible. Oh, that's why I felt like it was a little extra. What? I didn't offload my brush. <laughs> that could be special. Don't let Les know. Uh oh, if Les Meyer watches you and sees you not doing that, you're going to get in trouble. I'll be, I will be in trouble. All right, here it is. All right, I'm going to do some black so you guys can see this one. So this is the macrame one, part of my Bohemian stencils that I've come out with. And each one of these, it, it, this is five on here, but I actually have them blown up really big, each one of these. So you can also do that one. Can I have the tape? Yes. Thanks. I keep stealing it. I know. I'm going to just sand this off later and use the other side. But for now, I just want to show you. This stencil because it's really cool. What's Debbie talking about? Are you excited about the new white and the other colors? You know I am. Debbie, am I allowed to tell them when we're going to have our color marathon? Because I didn't know. Comment and let me know. Because I have not announced the actual date. Or you can just comment and tell them. Oh, Heather says we have 57 stencils. She says yes. Okay, so September 8th, which also happens to be my 30, how old am I going to be? You'll be 37. 37. I was going to say 38. My 37th birthday, <laughs> we are going to have a color marathon. So on our channel, every like hour, starting 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to be releasing new colors and products. And then along with that, Debbie is going to be with Dion at Debbie's shop on both of their pages, releasing all the colors along with us. I know all the other retailers are going to be doing it too, and that's going to come up September 8th. We're going to pre-film. We won't be live. It's on a Sunday, so it won't be live, but we're going to pre-film all the different colors, and then we're going to schedule them. So you'll want to check out our channel on September 8th and keep watching it all day long along with Debbie and Dion's Facebook pages so you guys can see all the fun stuff going on. And Debbie, I think, I didn't count it because Caitlin did the ordering, but how many products, how many new products are coming out, Deb? All right, I'm going in. Oh, <clears throat> so that is a little light. Oh, that's okay. I think it still looks good. When we seal it, it'll pop. <clears throat> they can see that plenty fine. The white will pop once it's sealed too. Yeah. Do you guys like that? I think that one's cool. When are the new paints going to be for sale? September 8th. So September 8th, you'll be able to pick them up on our website, jamierayvintage.com. Or if you have a local retailer that you like to shop with, they should have them as well. You may want to contact them and just make sure they have them in. There has been a high demand for them. Odelia, did you need something? No. Okay. I just want to make You're sure. You're just you're weirdly here. standing in the background staring at us? I'm just watching. <laughs> oh, they said nice. They love it. My birthday is in September and she knows what she's going to be buying. DIY paint. Deb, that looks fantastic. They love it. Thank you. Sweet. And right. I didn't even get in trouble because the stencil is so thick, it didn't it didn't push down underneath with uh, my lack of offloading. That's the nice thing about these stencils because they are thick. They're pretty forgiving. Thin stencils, it's really easy to get under the edge. Cost a little more to make them, but it's worth worth it. All right. Oh, a new stay. Is Debbie talking about all the new stuff? There's nine new colors. There are new finishes, a surprise, and more later this fall. We're excited. Should be really good because some of them are colors we've been asking for 
or having to mix and we Debbie have one was color like, that was yeah, we're made, just doing it. We have one color made just by us, so we're super excited about that one. Debbie asked us if we would make one and so we got to pick a color, so that's always fun. Um, let's see, somebody said something. Oh, they asked if we we're gonna paint the edges. Distracted. Are you? <laughs> am I distracted? All right, you finish this, you're better than me. Hold on, I don't wanna smudge I it. am not a better stenciler. You are, you're better at staying focused. That's in all things in life, you're better at being focused. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the edges. We're not gonna paint the edges of the sign because they will actually frame these all the way out because they're bigger signs and they usually sell better when they're framed. Yep. And we have a video on how to frame signs. Oh my goodness, really people? Hold on, hide user on this channel. Table. remove. Did we lose Caitlin? She's usually no, on No, she's on here, I just saw some, oh good, it got away, sweet. D. Clark says, proud of all of our accomplishments. You know what? Anything that we accomplish, I feel like it's like all of us together because we, you guys are watching our videos, you're buying our products, you're sharing with your friends and making this possible. So when we do stuff, it's, you know, we work hard, but you guys are working hard too. And we don't without saying thank you. So thanks for all you guys do. For it us. doesn't happen without you. Oh, Caitlin was away for just a second. That's all right. I got you, Caitlin. Where's the black? You oh, get, you uh, some little black dress for me over yeah. there. Mm. Oh, oh, you need this. <laughs> There's some on this tray right here. Kinda, I used it. Um, Kai says, Odelia, you look beautiful in your birthday pic on Facebook. You're so lovely. Odelia is one of those girls. She wakes up, says, up, show them the face. Oh, this is Odelia first thing in the morning. She's just beautiful and happy. <laughs> she doesn't need to wear any makeup. I was like, we kept waiting for her to like go through that awkward stage. It never happened. That yeah. girl's just pretty. <laughs> Oh, Carol says y'all have become family. We feel that way too. And you know what? People ask us all the time, how come you share everything? Isn't that going to hurt your business? And I can say without a doubt, hands down, when we started sharing tips, tricks, started sharing exactly how and why we do everything, our business grew because I truly feel like when you put out good stuff to the universe, good stuff comes back. So it's been a fun ride. Odelia says, she, or Debbie says she is pretty. It is true. And I think part of what makes, um, all right, well, Good night, you guys. We love you. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com for all the paint products that we use. And we will see you guys this next week. Make sure you subscribe. And um, we're oh, back. We're back. Sweet. Are we back? We're back. But apparently there's black. Is there black on my face? No. Okay. All right. I'll show right. you again. Love you guys. Just in case. Um, we're going to show you guys it. one more time. Here's this. One more time. Here's the macrame stencil. If we're still buffering, hop out and hop back in, and we should be just fine. All right, there's the macrame one. And we have one that has those only much bigger. They're like this big. So if you love that. Individually. Them, there you go. All right, love you guys. We'll see you later. Be sure to subscribe and visit our website. See you guys later. Thanks for I gotta, watching. I got to wash. Uh, our business name is Jamie Ray Vintage. She asked what our business name was. Okay, I gotta wash all this black paint off of me. It's all over. My knee, my hands, my face. Hit, hit, and zip. <laughs>